now. It is going into this time. No delay. Then we're straight into it. Emerson leads into turn one. Oh, for so we've gone into the back. Fourth. We've got damage. We've got damage on the cars. We've got a damaged car. And then we've got so we lost. Is so we're going through this? Uh, so where are we? Where are they going? I don't even know what I'm saying. And then they're going through. Uh, <laughs> Sound of up very well. No, I've got to say, Van Doom is uh, lagging. <laughs> lagging, like, lagging like a champion out there, isn't he? And you can see them. Emerson leads them far for a second. We've got uh, damage. Who's got damage? Granted, granted, has got damage. And Echo in fifth position. Fish of six. C in seventh position. Then we've got to string it in first. They come down to low turn now. Young Lights and Murphy are going side by side. Yellow flag in two. And there is a traffic jam there. There's a traffic jam. And that's a whole front wing got off the house. That's a whole front wing got off fire shot. And then um, stringing in left position. Then Brandon. And then we got to Samu's in left position there. we got to Laggy Racer. Oh, Laggy Racer. And oh no, this has gone appallingly badly. Laggy's like, got hardly any front wing at all there. It's Murphy there. I think Murphy's got a whole front wing, hasn't he? He has got a. No, he hasn't. He's damaged the end plate there. Laggy's got no end plates at all. And, it's, uh, and fire shot is really strong. And in the background is Van Doom as well, who has got a whole car at the moment then. Nigel, Nigel is going up the inside. Oh no! There was contact. Grant is having to take a face of action. And then they come into the front chicane. Now it's damage on Nigel's racing point. Oh dear. He tried to force the, he tried to force the issue there going down into the um and the old flag in two. We've got the old flag in two is uh, just taking a look to see what's going on in two. I think it's young lights, is it? Uh oh it is um well, I think young lights is just recovering. Oh no, Gunnar's lost the front wing there. Gunnar has got a front wing problem there for the racing point now. And it's a lot of damage that Gunnar's got to come to pits. Far shot is out of the race then. And a uh, far shot there. Um I gotta say far shot, I think that might be free for free, isn't it? Uh, and the um no relent of course he got he got a point in uh, he got a point in um in uh, china but unfortunately far shot uh, starts the season hasn't been very good at all has it oh nigel in the war and uh, he's damaged that end play and anyway, <laughs> fisher's trying to squeeze on the outside there wasn't he as he's going up the hill now into the casino square then um is that uh, there is jonathan there is all over the back of um of a tuna they cut up the hill then of course and uh, you could have an absolutely inc you can have a car which is five seconds quicker than the car in front around here there's a big difference remember 92 monaco between mansell and said oh two has got in the wall and Jonathan has taken um taken a 10th position away from two now and a two has damaged the car and so he's got oh, he's got some understeer now isn't he in the um uh, in the uh, tour of the and look at this Fisher is now all oh that's a horse in the background I'll stay in the background he's pointing the wrong way oh and now, now it's a uh, gross has gone for him there and uh, that's uh, Steve there he's damaged the car as well so he's just uh, he's doing a very good job actually to um, keep uh, out of everyone's way there unfortunately Steve then um, he was having a crack and race up to that point there and Fisher is through Fisher is through he's part Nigel's in the pits and Fisher's been released and is up in the second position now he is um, he is a man possessed today isn't he 7.4 seconds of garbage between Emerson and Far off at the front, Fisher is third, Echo is fourth position, Stringy is up the fifth, Brandon number six, Grills up the seventh, Nigel is there, look at this, they're uh, repairing the car now, now he's getting on a uh, set of, that's a medium compound tyre, is out for the uh, racing point, he's in and out, and um, he's uh, oh and there's also Toon Fan coming out of the pits as well, he's, uh, what tyres is Toon Fan going to go on then, Toros uh, guys going to work there, and uh, they're just replacing the front wing, and lovely shot here, the rear jackman, absolutely beautiful stuff isn't it, and uh, Granty there, you can see the man who he was within the facility of actually, uh, Nigel, um, earlier on the race, but uh, well, now he's back up, he's on the hard tires, Granty, the question is, how long is his hard tires going to go, can it go for the race, for the whole race, that would be a very, uh, that would be a very mighty effort, wouldn't it, the, um, i got to say that uh, Emerson's pulling out such a to command the lead over Farf at the moment, isn't he? Remember, this is a long old race, though, isn't it? As um, Farf there has just gone to fence of us, it fish has gone on the outside. Where's oh no, they've made contact there, they've made contact in Farf. There is um, if they had any damage, though, uh, take a look. Uh, Farf is they're all, all the pieces are still pulling in the right direction there. As the Granty has got by a Van Doom, then who is Van Doom now, has dropped down to 12 position, making his debut in the uh, in the Williams there. Three second, oh, five second power there for uh, Sam as he's back in the pits there. Uh, what is going on out there? <laughs> I don't know what's going on out there. And uh, look at this! Look at this! Young Lights has retired from the session! Young Lights is out! He's gone! I think it's coming through Casino Square! Safety car! This is what, uh, this is what was, uh, yeah, that's a big old smash there for Young Lights! Uh, what a shame there from the Red Bull driver! Out of the race then! And there's a safety car here on lap 11! As a Mercedes mechanics are not ready they're, they're not ready it was our five second penalty i'm not sure but uh, emerson uh, he should have enough time to come in and back out but that is a uh 
Yeah, oh, technically that's no um, that's no penalty at all. If it was a penalty there, into the pits there comes the Toro Rosso team, and you can see they're now just getting to work as well, and they're in and out then. And so Emerson in the pits there, and Fish is in the pits as well. Farf is in the pits then, so everyone is coming into the pits then. Hard tires for Echo, for Fisher, for um, for Farf. Jonathan has stayed out of the pits, and where is he? He's now up in the third position. Jonathan is then, and I'm wondering this might be a bold move there for Jonathan because now he will have um, he now will have almost uh, certainly fresh air, won't he? So um fresh air clear air because um because <laughs> of course then he um, he shouldn't be involved in any traffic and he's on the hard tires isn't he i think it was no brainer there for jonathan and now when is emerson gonna get when is emerson gonna release the uh, car then when is he gonna release it is he going now he is going now four we got five second pole there also for um two fans for the back of grilsey and now we're, we're the same car period is over we're back racing here in monaco we're on lap 15 out of 39 then flies through side of what the fisher second third position is jonathan echo far from nigel new f1 stringy and then we got Steve Grillsy, Toon, who's damaged the car there, who's gone to the back of uh, Grillsy, Laggy. Then we got to Granty, Sam, and Van Doom there. And oh, Granty, as Granty's got three t t soft tires and one <laughs> free, uh, free medium tires and one soft tires. Uh, it's uh, free to compel there uh, for uh, Farfair uh, and for Toon fans as well. Granty's up into 12 position. He's got past the uh, got past the Mercedes tires. Oh, Fisher sets the fast level of the race then um, on lap 17. An incredible start then. Five tenths of a second to come as well. Uh, Granty is, Granty is fun. Toon fans out of the race then. So Toon fans had enough for this um, of this brutal Grand Prix at the moment, isn't it? Because uh, they come up the hill once again and look at them and look, there's a Haas and a Red Bull also uh, also um, <laughs> charging up the hill as well. Yellow flame free, that is for Toon fan. That's the Toro, so out of the race, unfortunately. Strategy was completely wrong. Far fan, look up the inside. Uh, Echo is not budging, he's not moving, is he? He's trying to go on the outside. Look at him, he's got so much more pace. Echo is on the inside into the back. No, it's the Farf is on the outside then. Echo there is just defending his position for all oh, these Ben, and they come into the swim pool now and this is getting very tense indeed as a can echo um, can echo repel the attack then he's just got to keep the car in the right position oh he's got a bit deep now as the um as they come into anti notes then whereas they come through then to complete lap at 17 and van doom has got a uh, penalty there free second penalty these penalties are going to really add up then what are they going then it's coming to stand the echo stars your fans at the moment then it's like fly through turn one then this is incredible isn't it? as you can see they fly up the hill then look at that one two three four five cars in shot then and they come now they're coming down into Casino Square. The gap between Echo and Jonathan is 3.4 seconds. The gap between Jonathan and Fisher is 3.7 seconds. Emerson is now um, is, uh, keeping uh, Fisher at bay at the moment, isn't he? And they come down into the uh, into the uh, see front chicane then. <laughs> He's just pushing him out there. Oh! And uh, then Echo got the wall there. And look at that. They're all squirreling all over him. And then uh, Favre is up into fourth position there. Echo is dropping down to fifth position. He's damaged. He's got end plate damage. So I think... Oh, Nigel there. Oh my goodness me. He was just floating through these things, uh, floating through these, um, um, <laughs> floating through the uh, swimming pool section there. Echo has got damage there, but remember, he has to, he has to be passed, doesn't he? Of course, around here, the da look at that cube behind him, that's a, that's a crack, that's a good old school truly train, isn't it? Granty is back in the pits, that's a granted moment, the uh, championship leader is not getting any points at the moment. The man who's, um, who's won two for two is, uh, at the moment, down in 14th and last as it stands here in the uh, Monaco Grand Prix. Incredible stuff then. And now, as, um, as Nigel, we've been on board with Nigel for almost a lap now it is an incredible oh, oh look at that he's trying to have a go on the inside there Ball at the front is incredibly close Fisher going to go on the inside down the outside I should say but Emerson repels the attack there he keeps the lead in the moment as they come out of the sea front chicane and uh, Fisher dropped back to half a second but he will be back he will be back um, I've got to say with Fisher there isn't he he's a man that uh, just keeps coming at you and coming at you don't you back on board then with the Toro Rosso driver as um Oh, this is a battle for the lead, isn't it? Meet hard tire, hard tire. They're both on the same strategy. This is it, then. Who is going to be quickest on this day in history here in Monaco? That is the question. At the moment, it's uh, Emerson who has the advantage. It's Fisher who has the um, who has the quicker car on field at this stage. Oh, what's that contact? That was a bit of contact. I got to say, and now Nigel's trying to get all the way back in, but did Nigel damage the car? He has damaged the car, and he's lost the end play as well. And, and Nigel's in the pits, then. Nigel is in the pits, then. This is not good at all, then. For um, Nigel's put a few then so he's in the pits and he's done 18 laps on the medium tires I wonder if he was planning on staying out or coming in anyway well we'll find out now he is in the pits then and whoa we've lost Grillsy we have lost Grillsy then we're on board then with Sam where's Grillsy gone I'm thinking it's at Casino Square Casino Square is um uh, claimed a um I think, he, I think he claimed uh, the other Red Bull driver, didn't it? It did. And the grills there is the same place where Martin Brundle spun off in 96. So that is a shame there. And a Stringy is retired from the session. Stringy's gone. 
Street is out of the race set. That's huge blow into the pits. There comes Fisher. There's all kinds of drama going on. Oh, that's into the back. That is into the back. He's right in the middle of the car. He's right in the middle of the race set. String is. Um, wow, that is. that. If that's not a safety car, what is a safety car? Into the pits comes Fisher. Fisher's in the pits. And so, and look, that Steve is now come out in a six in seven in six position. Fisher's down to seven. What is going on here? And um, what, did Fisher have a problem there? But the gap is up to 11 seconds now uh, between himself. Uh, between between Emerson and Jonathan Fisher's had to come in the pits. Nigel said the fast other race, he's in 10th position. Sam just outside the points in 11th. Into the pits comes Emerson. So Emerson, I think, is a, I think he's just responding to Fisher, isn't he? So he's coming in the pits and he's in and out. And uh, Jonathan will take the lead. I think he will take the lead. Will he? Uh, and I think Emerson does have does have enough of to get out in front of Far because Jonathan will be coming across the line now. He has come across the line. He takes the lead. He has to stop the. What about Far? Far, Far, Far. Here is Far. Where's Emerson? There's Emerson. There's Far. Is he enough? I think it's enough. It is enough. Just about. Uh, Everson's turned that to perfection. And he gets out back in front of Farf. And he is uh, still in second position. Then Farf is third. And then Echo and Brandon and Fisher. And now battling for fourth, fifth and sixth. What a shame for Stringy and Grillsy. Especially Stringy though. Um, of course Grillsy was outside the points at the, moment, at the time when he retired. But Stringy was in a good old battle for seventh and eighth position. What a shame there for... Um, what a for Stringy. Oh, and look, Brandon, I'm not saying Brandon. There it's gone. Dinner. It's a Brandon's dropping down the order. And uh, Fisher is, uh, oh, is, uh, I think Fisher's waiting for Brandon. Uh, whoa. Oh, dear. What's going on here? I think he's waiting for Brandon to come back out. I think Fisher must have had a wild lunge down at Mirabeau and it's forced Brandon Wood. And now Steve has moved up into a fifth position because of all that, because of all those shenanigans going on. So Steve is now for the fifth. And uh, he is doing a cracker job out there. Of course, the Steve fan club would be absolutely overjoyed. I think that Fisher's Monica Grand Prix. He's uh, turned to a stuff of nightmares at the moment. Jonathan Lee's there, but he hasn't stopped as it, he hasn't stopped as it stands at the moment. So it's um so it's uh yeah, I think Jonathan there needs to um I think he should be able to get onto the soft common tires, and here he is. The race leader is in at the pits then. We got the, oh, so that's the Williams team mechanics there. Van der Doom is out of the race then. So uh, the debutant there is a retire there from a um, 11, uh, 12 position there. Echo is through. Where's Jonathan going to come out in front? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. He's going out of the pits. I'll see he's through. It's Fisher through. Fisher is... Yo, flag and one, and uh, there's, a, there's a ghost car just coming on the track now. And uh, what's going on? It would. Oh, and I'm not sure what has gone on. What has gone on? Wood? I don't know. But um, there is a lot of things going on. And, oh no! And Fisher came steaming in there, and he has damaged the car, and that is a lot of damage on the um, on the Toro so Fisher, and who had so much pace here today, and um, really should have got pole position, but had a five place group penalty, and now it's gone all to put. It's gone all. Um, it's gone all wrong for Fisher, hasn't it? Two minutes left the session there. Grant is now up into sixth position. Fisher, and it's just letting people buy it in. I think he's doing a very gentlemanly job there. Fisher is well done. See, there is um, had an incredible battle, hasn't he? And now then, as you can see, Grant is going to stick up the inside. He is up the inside to send the ball. He is through and up into um. Up into sixth position, uh, fifth position. I so said Brandon is up into seventh position. Sam has dropped down to eighth position, and uh, he, yeah, so uh, he is still on course for an incredible result here today. I think this might be Sam's best result of the of his career. Now. Um, of course, uh, so Sam doing a fantastic job at the moment. Can he keep going? With uh, he's got, oh, he's got about seven, eight laps to go here in the Monaco Grand Prix. He's doing absolutely outstanding stuff, isn't he, Sam? He's done an incredible qualifying lap as well. And oh, Nigel and Fisher, this is getting very hairy and scary. Oh no, like he's at the Oh, Fisher's in the wall. Fisher is out. It was getting too close for call. Fisher is out of the race. One, what an appalling way to end the Monaco Grand Prix. And going up the inside, Grant is. He's at the inside of Echo. He is through. New F1 is out of this race. What is going on? He's in Mirabeau. New F1 is retired from the race. We're down to nine. We're down to like Monaco 96 all over again. Echo and uh, Grant is up in the fourth position. He just got by Echo. He forced his way through. Now Steve is coming onto the back of his well, new Brandon is going to get a point, I think. So he will get a point. Um, if uh, if Laggy passes him, he will get a point. If he don't, he get two. Um, wow. So um, Sam is back up to seventh position. Nigel is in eighth position, but Nigel is bearing down on Sam as well. Sam has got another car behind him, and um, he's got a hut to the fed once again. Jonathan is all over the back of uh, Farf as well. There it is, Jonathan and Farf battling down into Mirabeau then. Everson is going for his record sixth win of his career. Then that will equal Nigel. That will equal Nigel's tally of um, of a six win. So yeah, that is an absolutely incredible feat there for Emerson. 
brilliant stuff. Nigel again, much more purchase out of the side of all. Simon, Nigel, Simon, Nigel, oh no, they've great contact and Nigel somehow, somehow keeps out of the wall there. As well in the battle for 7th and 8th position, Simon's best position, best career finish as it stands at the moment. Emerson is almost half a minute back from uh, far, far for 24 laps on the medium tyre. And uh, that's why Farf is looking free. Second hand, Nigel got tired of it goes on the inside. Nigel and Farf is, I don't know what I'm saying. He's got a five second penalty. He has kept second position, albeit by using all the track and then some. And, um, oh, as you can see, Jonathan has got a lot of others here. And uh, I think Ryan is saying, um, Granty for Paul, for Podium, he reckons. Wow, I've got to say, that's been a cracking drive for Granty, hasn't it? Wow. Who's going to be drawing today? That, that's a good question, isn't it? I, I must say, it's a, it's a very tough, very tough ass. Jonathan's done a cracking job, hasn't he? Farf has done a good job. Ever since it's been a fearless as well. Fisher, um, unfortunately, just uh, fell apart in the second half. See, uh, second half I've got to say, Steve has been impressive as well. And Sam. And so, uh, there's a lot of drivers that you could. Uh, you could definitely say for him, driver of the day. Oh, Jonathan is waving this way and that way. Farf would not let him by. <laughs> so Farf has the track advantage. 37.5 seconds. That's probably the one of the biggest winning totals in ALR history from Emerson. And only Emerson. No, it's all about making Jonathan door on the inside. He's passed Farf. He moves up into um, up into second position. Um, Laggy is a... Nigel has got off the track. Nigel's got off the track there. Emerson wins the Monaco Grand Prix. His sixth win in ALR. He is at, he is now tied the total with Nigel with six wins. Record breaking for Emerson today. Emerson, who won for, got his second pole position of his career in the end, and uh, he won this Monaco Grand Prix. Granty uh, from a fourth on the grid, but he had four pit stops to finish second. Jonathan finished third in the end from 10th to third. Cracking stuff. Steve in fourth position. Echo in fifth. Far from sixth. Sam, seventh position. Great stuff. Eighth position, Nigel. Laggy in ninth position. And those are, those are the final class. That was the only classified runners. Uh, Brandon gets the final points in position. Fisher, what could have been an incredible start. Incredible first half of the race was absolutely brilliant stuff. Uh, retired, though. So did Van Doom, Stringy, Grillsy, Toon, Lights, Murphy, Gunnar, and Fern and Farshaw all retired from, the, uh, from this incredible Monaco Grand Prix.